Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know currently when it comes to the person that is on your mind. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. And I want to thank all of you that have been donating to our channel and those of you that have become Mystic members. I truly appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what you need to know about this person currently is I choose you. And we also have the Queen of Cups here. So this person is in their feelings. They're in love with you, deeply in love with you. Now with the I choose you card being here, for some of you, this person may have had a choice between you and someone else, but they want you to know that they're choosing you or that they would choose you. Now, for some of you, I feel as though um, with tough love being at the bottom of the deck, you guys are not going to tolerate competing with someone else. Okay, it's almost like for some of you, you may be thinking, well, if you have to choose, choose them. Some of you may not even want this person to choose you. You may not want to be the chosen one. Okay, at this point. But I feel as though this person, um, when it comes to you, like I said, there may have been something going on with someone else, but they're realizing that they want to be with you. Okay. At the top of the deck, we have making sacrifices and we also have time to move, time to make moves. So for some of you, this person, um, they're willing to make a sacrifice to be with you. It could be them sacrificing someone else. Okay. Sacrificing, um, a relationship that they have with another person. It could also be them sacrificing the way that they've been moving because there's a chess game going on in this, in this card. Okay. So they feel as though it's time for them to make a move to show you that they're willing to make sacrifices to make things work with you. Wow. We're going to see what all of this is about. I'm going to make sure that I clarify these cards. But yeah, someone is definitely in their feelings. They're realizing how much they love you. Okay. I do feel as though this person, um, they're hurt right now. For some of you, they're hurt because either you have moved on or they're thinking you're going to move on. And it's causing them to be stuck in their head, okay? Now, for some of you, like I said, there may have been someone else in the mix here, okay? A third-party situation where this person wants to move forward from that, um, from a situation that they felt stuck in, okay? They may have been dealing with a karmic energy or something of that nature. They also are realizing that they made a wrong decision or they made, um, they took some type of action that did not work in their highest good. And it may have been them giving an opportunity to uh, an option, someone that they thought the grass would be greener with, but now this person is in deep regret. So they're regretting um, dealing with another option, okay? Someone that they thought was good for them and they're really not. So yeah, they want to talk to you. This person may even want to apologize. For some of you, you may get communication from this person, letting you know that they regret whatever they did to you. Now for others of you, I feel as though this person, they put on a facade, okay? This is someone that may not be who you thought they were when you initially met them, okay? Okay. There were a lot of illusions here. I feel as though this person, they may have even tried to confuse you or pull the wool over your eyes. But regardless, yeah, they're in this regret energy. And like I said, they want to talk to you, possibly to apologize. They may have been dealing with someone from their past, okay? Someone from their past that they've known for quite a while. I feel like it's a karmic. I really do. But they're wanting to reconcile with you. They're wanting to heal this situation and move forward. This person also is, I feel like um, they're thinking a lot about you possibly dating other people, being interested in others or others being interested in you. This person is also thinking a lot about how fickle they were with you, how um, they were in and out of your life or how you weren't able to depend on them. It's almost like they're taking responsibility for 
their part in this not working out. I'm not saying that you guys were perfect, but this person, they played a huge role in whatever happened with this heartbreak between the two of you, okay? There may have even been some hurtful words spoken between the two of you and they're wanting to move forward from that as well. I do feel like this person is reaping karma, okay? With judgment being in reverse along with the justice card here, I feel like there's something that they did that didn't work out in their favor. And it had something to do with them either being a player or being in and out of your life, being fickle, immature, something of that nature. But I feel like this person, um, it may even be in regards to them trying to date someone else and ending up single. Hmm. I feel like their money is affected by this karma. So spirit is hitting this person in their pocket. But yeah, they were definitely showing attention to other options. They're hoping that you're single or that you're not dealing with anyone else. If you are dealing with someone else, they want you to be single from that person because they're wanting to win you over. Yeah, they want to move on from the past here with the five of cups along with the six of swords. They're hoping that whatever happened in the past, whatever hurts they put you through or um, whatever happened here, they're wanting things to get better between the two of you. They're hoping that you will move on from the past, that you want to stay stuck on whatever it is that they did. This person, um, they have a very, very close bond to you. For some of you, this may even be a twin flame. They also want to talk to you about... Um, how much you mean to them or how they never met anyone else like you. They feel like you're their soulmate, like the two of you are divine, meant to be. Okay. But yeah, they wanna they wanna talk to you. They wanna talk to you. For some of you, they're talking to their friends about you. Okay. But they're definitely wanting to work things out. They're hoping that you still want to work things out too. But this person, um, they're a little afraid, okay? They're afraid because you've become withdrawn. And they feel as though you are focusing on new opportunities and that you're turning your back on them. I also feel as though this person feels like meeting someone like you is a once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity for them, okay? They feel like they won't meet anyone else like you. And they're hoping that over time, things will change between the two of you and that you guys can have like a um, traditional family life or a very stable relationship. Yeah, they're stressed out because they're wanting a new opportunity in love. So some of you are going to have a choice to make in regards to this person, whether you want to look back toward the past. Okay, because if this person on this card were to turn around... There's a relationship here, okay? So do you want to turn back and be in a relationship with this person or continue to look forward to the future, okay? But yeah, I feel like this person also comes off as very defensive. Like, um, they're very superficial, very much the type that... I feel like um, they may have been led by their private area at one point in time or they're just the type that would seek attention from others. And whenever you would point that out, they would become very defensive, okay? But they want to fight for this relationship. They're not giving up because they feel as though you're their soulmate. And so, yeah, they want to talk to you about getting back together, all right? They want to talk to you. They want a new cycle. For some of you, they know that you walked away because they were breadcrumbing you, okay? And some of you, you weren't willing to put up with that. And I don't blame you one bit. But yeah, this person with I choose you and making sacrifices here, it lets me know that there may have been someone else in the mix at some point in time. But this person is stating that they choose you because you're the one that they really love with the heart being here on this card. I feel like for some of you, this person has prayed because if you look closely at this card, there's like a cross there. So for some of you, this person, um, they may have even prayed in regards to this. But yeah, mm. whenever you hold back from them, it makes them unstable. Okay, it makes them unstable. They want, they're trying to figure out how to let you know that they're serious about you. They're serious about the two of you growing together or growing this relationship. 
like I said, they're wanting a new opportunity here with you. Very much attracted to you. Okay. Very much attracted to you. But I feel like a lot of you are focused on your um on your money. You're focused on your new opportunities coming in for you, maybe even focused on career. I also feel as though when it comes to this person, there's something that's very distracting about them. Like whenever you put your full attention on this person, it throws you off in regards to things that you're working on because the Queen of Wands here is looking away from the eight of pentacles so it's like this person throws you off of your hustle or they throw you off of whatever you have going on it's all whatever you have going on it's almost like you can't focus when you're dealing with this person you can't focus as good as you would like that's for some of you that may not be for all but take it if it fits leave it if it doesn't so yeah this person they're in their feelings when it comes to you very much in their feelings i'm gonna get a few more cards and then um i'm gonna clarify so give me more holy spirit in regards to what my viewers need to know what does everyone need to know currently about the person that is on their mind when it comes to love at the time they watch this reading what does everyone need to know holy spirit two more shuffles but yeah it's up to you what you decide to do no judgment here um, but you know, I just feel like when it comes to this person, they didn't always acknowledge or show you the love that they have for you. So for some, it may be too little too late for others of you. If you've been waiting to reconcile with this person, you know, you're going to have that opportunity to come in for you. So it's up to you what you decide to do. And I feel like this person is a mess because even with me picking up the cards, like it was, you know, ugh. All right, so we have divine timing. So divine timing is at play here. I feel as though when it comes to this person, they want to give you a commitment. For those of you that do want a commitment with this person, Spirit is stating it would happen in divine timing, okay? So yeah, for some of you, this person feels as though it's time for them to um, give you a commitment. They want to come in and sweep you off of your feet, okay? Also, for some of you, with the I choose you, card here along with making sacrifices remember i was telling you guys that i felt like they were dealing with a karmic we have karmic relationship and right beside that the end faded goodbye so for some of you they're ending things with a karmic okay they're ending things with a karmic that they've been dealing with hmm i do feel as though at one point in time this person made you feel as though they weren't into you okay I do feel that way, but this person, they want to show you that the two of you are compatible. They feel as though you're heaven sent. Wow. I feel like you're the best thing that ever happened to this person. I really do. Even though at times they didn't let you know that. So for some, you're this person's karma. You're their karma because it's like they didn't realize your worth initially or at some point throughout the relationship and now they're in their feelings they realize what you mean to them they want to be with you and some of you may not even be interested or the damage has been done so that's their karma is losing out on the best thing possibly losing out on the best thing or the best person that they've ever had in their life Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, in regards to what my viewers need to know when it comes to this person. So we have solutions, resolutions. That did come out crossing. So for some of you, you may feel like this can't be fixed. It could also be this person's energy where they feel as though this can't be fixed or they don't know what type of, um, they don't know what to do to resolve the issues between the two of you i feel like this person mishandled your heart okay and that's why they don't know how to fix it mm, 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 mm. i feel like they may have mishandled your heart when you had butterfly feelings for them or when you were just really really into this person when they had your full attention okay i feel like um they want to have that effect on you again but like I said, has the damage been done? Hmm. All right, so let's clarify a few of these cards. So give me more messages, Holy Spirit, in regards to the person that is on my viewer's mind when it comes to love at the time that they watch this reading. 
what do my viewers need to know? Clarify these cards for me. Please, Holy Spirit. This person's a disaster right now. They are so in their feelings. Two more shuffles. They feel as though, um, because I saw the world card along with the Ace of Cups as I was, um, as I was shuffling. And look, the world card is at the bottom of the deck again. I saw the world card with the Ace of Cups as I was shuffling. And so that lets me know that, you know, you completed this person at one point. But for some, they were still searching for better when there wasn't anyone better. They feel like if they had your love, you know, they would be complete. Okay, look at this. Then I say this person was a disaster. Thank you so much for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. They're a disaster right now. They're a disaster because they feel as though you're holding back from them. And also at the same time, because this person contained themselves, this is the result of that. I feel like there were strong emotions here. You had very strong emotions for this person and they destroyed the connection with things they were doing. Why is I choose you here, Holy Spirit? Why, why is that here for what my viewers need to know about this person? Why is I choose you here? Thank you. The star card, because you're their wish fulfillment. They feel like this relationship was written in the stars. Mm. judgment in reverse which lets me know they didn't make the right decisions they didn't make the right choices when it comes to you they didn't and for some of you it's hard for them to even admit when they do things wrong they rather fight and, and stand their ground they, they'd rather fight and stand their ground on a lie than just admit when they messed up so they'll hold on to a lie. Mm. Whew. Okay, why is making sacrifices here, Holy Spirit, in regards to what my viewers need to know about this person? Why is making sacrifices here? Okay, so the Eight of Wands here. So there's a few different things going on with this, okay? Because we have the Strength card again at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, one of the sacrifices this person um, wants to make or that they need to make is being lustful. I feel like this person has dealt with a lot of different people. They, they can be very, very lustful, okay? Also moving on from something, okay? Moving on from something, from something else. Give me more about making sacrifices. Why is that here? When it comes to this person, why is that here, Holy Spirit? Thank you. The five of, of swords. Okay, so one sacrifice that they're going to have to make is um, not, playing game, not playing games with you. Okay. I also feel like this person, they can be very petty, very vindictive, okay? Also, um, instead of fighting to keep up a lie, just admitting when they're wrong or fighting to, um, fighting to make it seem as though they're not doing things wrong when they really are. Mm, 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 mm. This is someone that's messed up. So, yeah, they've played a lot of games. Also, they're very prideful. They need to put their pride to the side. But whatever they communicate with you, I think they are going to be putting their pride to the side this one time. Okay. I can't say that that's, gonna, that's how it's going to be from um, now on. But I do see that at some point this person's going to be making a sacrifice to put their pride to the side in order to communicate with you in regards to lessons that they they learned things that they I feel like when it comes to this person they've made a lot of mistakes 
all we all have okay but this is someone that doesn't learn from their mistakes like they'll keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and so it's like at this point spirit is intervening like wait a minute you're not about to keep playing with the chosen one my chosen one you're not about to keep doing this so judgment is being cast upon this person okay they can get really petty and whenever they're trying to um, whenever they're in their petty energy, it's like they make decisions that they know will blow up in their face, that they know are wrong. And it always bites them in the butt. Why is the vine timing here, Holy Spirit? Why is the vine timing here when it comes to this person? Thank you. All right, so we have the five of pentacles. Now that did come out crossing. So this person, they're planning on returning if they left you out in the cold, if you left them, if they abandoned you or ghosted you, or if you did that to them, they're planning on returning because they want to work on things, okay? But they're trying to do so, or they will do so in the right time or when they think it's the right time. Oh my goodness. They're going to be expressing some love to you though. They are. I feel like their money's messed up though. Their money is messed up. They live in lack. There's never enough. Things just don't go right for this person. And it's all a part of their karma to teach this person a le lesson to balance the scales. Why is solutions and resolutions here crossing when it comes to this person? Why is that here? Thank you. So we have the three of wands. So when it comes to this person and judgment keeps coming out at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So when it comes to this person, they're hoping that eventually the two of you will be able to resolve things. Okay. They're hoping that they can come up with a solution in regards to what's been going on, the issues between the two of you before you turn your back completely on them. Okay. Hmm. It's almost like they're saying, I mishandled your heart, but, you know, if you just, you know, let me come back in or if you come toward me, take it however it resonates, we can make this work. I don't know about that. All right, let me get one more card. Why is the tower here, Holy Spirit? Why is the tower here for what my viewers need to know when it comes to this person? The two of pentacles them juggling messed up this connection also the decisions that they've made it made decisions that this person made made the relationship between the two of you very unstable some of you don't even want this anymore you just want it to completely be over now for others of you it's hard for you to get this person out of your energy you may want to get get back together with them but at the same time it's like you're afraid you're either afraid or worried or you may feel as though they're hiding secrets. But yeah, I feel like this person, one thing that destroyed the connection is them hiding other options, hiding third parties. And they may have even been using those third parties for money or those people were using them for their money. Mm -mm -mm. This is someone that messed up. Look at this. They would make people think that they wanted to be with them. I feel like this person would give people offers make them think that they really wanted to be with them they would um be intimate with these people okay and then they would sneak away or start avoiding them when they got what they want for some of you i'm telling you this person may have been dealing with people to get stability in their life or to get people to hand things to them okay and it blew up in their face but yeah, they want to talk to you about this ending or the betrayals. Wow, so there's a lot going on with this. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.